Given the vector v equals 3i plus 4j, find the angle theta and the value k such that vector v equals k times the unit vector u, where the unit vector equals cosine of theta times i plus sine of theta times j. So what this is really asking for, let's just break it down first of all, and then I can explain uh, some of the other notation. We're looking at this vector 3i, 4j. 3i plus 4j. So that's three units in the, you could think of it as the x direction, but with vectors we want to think in terms of i and j. So i is this horizontal direction, and it's a positive 3 from the origin. So 1, 2, 3 would be three units. Here's our 3i in green. I'll underline the 3i. And then in red, no, I'll put it in yellow. In yellow, I'll put 4j. So from this point, I'm going to go up four units. There's our 4j. And we've added those two vectors for a resultant vector of v. And that is what I'll draw in red. So I'll underline or circle v, vector v, in red. Okay, so that's our vector. Now what we're looking for, what the question is looking for, is this angle theta. Right? It, it says a lot of other words there, but this is what it's really looking for. What is this angle theta? And then it's asking for the magnitude of this vector v. So right away, let's, let's do the easy part first. Let's look at the k. k is just the magnitude the magnitude of vector v. And that's the notation for magnitude of. Well, if we have this 3, 4, 5 triangle, I'm going to draw it again over here. A 3, 4, and I gave away the answer, 5. We've got 3 units there and 4 units there. You can use Pythagorean theorem to then find that this hypotenuse is 5. So k equals 5. All right, that was the easy part. How about theta? Finding theta here. Well, that's not too bad either. I'm going to write it here on this triangle that we have. This is our theta. And we know then that tangent, tangent of theta equals opposite over adjacent, or 4 over 3. So in other words, the inverse tangent of 4 over 3 equals the angle we're looking for. Now I'm going to set my calculator to radians because in calculus you have to do uh, all of your stuff, all of your trigonometric stuff, your, uh, your functions in radians. Otherwise the calculus doesn't work out. So we will solve in radians and get theta equals 0 point nine two seven radians and I'm sorry it's not gonna be a nice one with a pi in there I mean you could write this as some fraction of pi but this one we'll put it as a decimal point nine two seven radians is is what we have here so uh, that's the answer as we found our K and our theta and just to just to look at this unit vector here, this unit vector. All this is saying is that if we're on some unit circle like this from the center here, well, if we were on a unit circle, then we would be one unit in the i direction and one unit in the j direction. And in any direction, you are just one unit. That's the, that's the, uh, the idea of the unit circle. So when you have then some line drawn, like this, some vector, well, it's going to be some component of, of the i and some component of the j. And that's what the, the cosine and sine business is all about. So, so that's why we, we write it like that. And it, it uh, makes it easier then to transform from one vector to another and then uh, turn it into and, and know the angle because that's very useful to, to know the angle when you're actually doing some kind of uh, word problem or application.
with the vectors. So there it is, just a little bit about some vectors.